right, so today's topic are LFTs. That's an acronym for liver function tests. And what I want to do is talk about some of the basic approach to take if you present with some abnormal liver tests. And the reason why is because I see this, I hear this all the time. Patients, our patients, other people's patients on forums, et cetera, et cetera. People may have some abnormal LFTs. And unfortunately what it does is it induces some anxiety, it induces some concern in the absence of honestly any pathological etiologies. In fact, abnormal LFTs are present in almost 10% of all blood work, all lab tests obtained. This means that it could be one point over, it could be two points over, it could be 50 points over, whatever. Again, this is simply a statistic and it puts things a little more into perspective that one out of 10 lab tests taken, there will be some discrepancy. It will be a little, a little bit outside the normal reference range. So if you've ever had abnormal LFTs, guess what? You're not alone, but also you're not special either. So in the vein of keeping this brief video more narrow focused, I'm only going to talk about ALTs and ASTs today because those are the two most common, commonly observed laboratory items that we typically observe when following patients' liver health. Again, that's the AST and the ALT. Now, AST is found all throughout the body. It's found in the liver, the skeletal muscle, the brain, as well as various other organ systems, and therefore it's not as specific to the liver. Now, on the other hand, you have the ALT, which is found primarily in the liver. Yes, it's found elsewhere throughout the body, but the liver is the most abundant source of it. So therefore, the ALT is more specific to hepatocellular injury. Also, studies have shown that ALT levels also correlate with the, the level of abdominal obesity in patients. So if someone presents with elevated ASTs, elevated ALTs, oftentimes what we want to do is investigate the magnitude of these elevations of these biomarkers. Also, it's important to know that ALT levels are often higher in males and they're often higher in people with larger body masses. And as I just said a moment ago, ALT levels are also higher, in, and particularly with people with a more visceral, more abdominal adiposity. So therefore, if you're a bigger person, you weigh more, um, there's a good chance that your ALTs could be higher as compared to someone who's smaller. Another thing to keep in mind with these lab values is that physical exertion can increase these lab values. If So if you've been training, you've been working out, prior to having blood work, there might be a small, there might be a marginal excursion in these liver function tests. Now, another thing to think about is the fact that ALT has a half-life of roughly two days. So maybe that gives you an idea to corroborate your physical training that you may have done within that two-day window because it may coincide with that. Also, Another thing to keep in mind with the blood work is that these values follow a diurnal pattern. So they're lower in the morning, but they tend to be higher in the later afternoon, 4 p.m., 6 p.m.-ish, give or take. Now, in regards to chronic, chronically modestly elevated LFTs in people who are asymptomatic, the most common cause is fatty liver disease. So if you're a person that has chronically modestly elevated, I'm talking like 70s, 80s, uh, the ALT, ASTs, there's a good chance you may have fatty liver disease, especially if you're otherwise asymptomatic person. Now, if you're a person who does have chronically modestly elevated AST, ALTs, especially the ALTs and GGTs in the context of having any obesity, insulin resistance, any kind of metabolic disease, it's a very, very good chance you might have fatty liver disease in that regard. So again, this video was just a brief primer into the AST, ALT lab tests, not digging deep into the pathophysiology or anything else. But if you want to learn more about these or hear more about some liver function abnormalities or evaluations, give us a shout and we can make some follow-up videos to dig deeper into other aspects of it. Cool. Thanks. Check out my TRT workout split or the ebook, The Ultimate Guide to TRT Cream. Links to the merchandise shop in the description.